Hello everybody. I'm really delighted to have these brief moments with you during our Daniel's Fast. This is day 17. And on this particular day, my topic is the same as it was on my first time when we opened. It's true worship, nothing more, nothing less. Why am I doing the same topic? Because it's impressed on my heart. In fact, I'm going to do it a third time before our Daniel's Fast is over. Because I really want us to get the message that the Lord really desires for us to give Him true worship. No, no one else but Him deserves true worship. So our text today is our theme scripture for the year from John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. And by the way, if you have not marked this verse yet in your Bible, I really want you to mark it, to highlight it, perhaps put it in a prominent place in your, in your home or somewhere where you can see it on a regular base, basis. Again, it's St. John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. It reads as follows. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. That is so powerful. The Father seeketh such. He's looking for, He wants, He desires such people, true worshipers, to worship Him. And the final verse is verse 24. It says, God is a spirit. And they that worship him, M-U-S-T, -S must worship him in spirit and in truth. Before we go a step further, let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you that your word is true. We thank you that you've communicated to us through your word, your heart. And that is that we seek after you in spirit and in truth and we do it in worship. So Father, today I pray for everyone who signed on, for everyone who will listen and who will receive this word, that they might walk away with a sense of expectation in their heart, that as we, as they worship you, that you will respond in enveloping them continually in your love and manifestation in their lives. In Jesus' name we thank you, amen. Now, before we end this today, I want you to think about something. The Lord said that He wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. You know what that really means to start with? We have to have a relationship with Him. It's not just about going to church. It's not just about performing in some capacity at church. It really is having a personal relationship with the Father. In other words, your spirit person, we are a spirit, it has to be quickened which means to be made alive, which means that we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. We've confessed our need of Him. We have confessed His word in that He died, he, he was buried, and He rose again, and that we believe that. And that means then that your spirit is alive. That is the only way you could worship the Lord, that you have a relationship with Him, that you have been saved, that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. And then it says, in truth, that means consistent with His Word. He, Jesus is the Word, and His Word is the truth. And so if we're to worship the Father, we have to do it according to what He says. And one of the things that the Lord says in the Word is that if we are to worship Him, we must honor His Son. We must have space in our heart for His Son. We must receive His Son as our personal Lord and Savior. So whether you are saved or not, I just want to encourage you to get the word out, to share it. Let your light shine, be a light to the world, and then if you are saved, thank God for it. Let that light continually shine. But if you're not saved, I want to encourage you to pause and to realize that Jesus actually died for you. He experienced us in, in, in excruciating death for you. And he did it so that you might have a relationship with his Father and you might be able to live eternally with the Father and live the life that he calls you to even here on earth. That is so powerful. That is so important that you accept the Lord as your personal Savior. That's the focus for today on day 17 of our Daniel's Fast. I'm George Dixon, Senior Pastor at Pastors Family Church. I hope you receive that, and I hope that you're saved, and if you're not today, that you receive him as your Lord and your Savior. And why don't you just give me a moment to lead you to the Lord if you're not already saved, okay? I want you to think about this. I want you to believe the Word of God. 
And I want you to open your heart and to recite what I'm about to tell you. Speak it with faith, believing that the Lord hears you, okay? Please say this, in the name of Jesus, I believe the word, I receive the word. I believe that Jesus died, he was buried, and he rose again for me. I believe that, I receive that. So I confess today that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. And from this point forward, I dedicate my life to Him. Our theme and our topic today is true worship. Nothing more, nothing less. Give your life to the Lord. Worship Him for the rest of your life. God's blessing to be on you. Have a wonderful day on the 17th day of our Daniel's fast. Fly high.